What's up everybody? Old School NYC Gamer back once again here with another video and I'm here in the game room and just wanted to show you guys and gals something that I got for an unbelievable exchange over at 8 and Up. Long story short, exactly a week ago I went there to get a power adapter for the uh, Sega Genesis Model 2 that I got recently from Kubrick Attic 1. And uh, the owner stated that it did work. It was actually a universal adapter that was also good for the Genesis Model 1 and the Sega CD Model 2 and a Super Nintendo. So, of course, you know, the plug fit, but the problem was there wasn't enough power to it. You need a certain amount of ampage for it to work. So, due to work and everything else, I didn't have the time to go back and exchange it till now. So, when I talked to one of the other employees about what was going on you know they said you know no problem with the exchange so i looked around the store quite a bit not honestly really thinking if i could find something that would be good enough to exchange the plug for and when i tell you at the end of the video what the amount of the plug was and what i got for this i think it was worth it now also this is going to another youtuber which i shall remain nameless but they probably know after seeing this and, of course, like I said, I'm going to keep it anonymous till I guess they do the video of it. And, anyway, so when I saw this in the bin, you know, they said it was untested as is. So, I took a shot on this only because I had the extra uh, peripherals for it. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, a ColecoVision. That's right, people. I actually did get this. And it's, you know, a little dusty. Needs to be cleaned up. And, like I said, people, they said this was as is was not tested, so I'm not even sure this is going to work. I'm taking a shot on this. Now, it came just bare. It didn't come with the controllers. I had two extra controllers that I threw on here just to see if it does work. And the uh, extra power brick I have right here, so I said everything is hooked up. You can see right there there's a power cord. And there is the uh, RF. And it's TV right there. So what we're going to do, like I said, people, we're going to just, um, you know... Plug her in, and so you can make sure that it works. All right, so everything's set, and I'm going to be using my copy of Zaxxon. And I'm just going to uh, put it in there, make sure it's in all the way. Turn on the television. And there you go, people. Wow, it actually does work. Holy crap. Now... I will mention this. This alone, the power adapter cost me $10 at the time. It only cost me 10 So uh, I know it did work. I did test it on my uh, Super Nintendo. Worked fine. Did it on my Sega Genesis. Worked fine. But it did not work with the Sega CD Model 2. So we're going to test this out really quickly. Uh, if I could find the right controller here. Because I know there's uh, two here. One and two. So, all right, so you can see right here, this is the first controller. We're just gonna do the skill one, test out the movement of this, and just see if it works. And there you go, people. And of course, I suck at Zaxxon, so go figure. But yeah, definitely worth the $10. Uh, if you're over 8 bit and up, definitely check them out, people. You know, I go there, you know, every so often when I can. They, you know, got a couple of good deals here and there if you really know how to look. And yeah, that's about it, people. So that one YouTuber who is probably watching this by now, expect this in your collection very, very soon because I know you've been wanting this for quite a while. And that's about it, people. So I'm going to uh, put this away because I know it works. And thank you to the guys at 8 and Up for... Uh, Definitely hooking me up here and doing the right thing. It was really awesome of you. And that's about it. Everybody have a good night and take care. Cheers.